this is all merely to give a point of view to mechanical demonstrations that can be done practically. So what we've got here, we've got a container, a number of objects which I'll duplicate so they're exactly the same. So in this little uh, thing we have here, we can uh, set these parameters. So here, this is gravity zero. These objects are dynamic objects. They're not static. And what we have here is a sequencer that's just going to time a series of events. This thing here is a mover. It will move at a constant speed, constant velocity here up for a battery which will trigger this dissolve material so that's just going to vanish they're just supports for these duplicate objects at different elevations within this container so if we uh, unpause all of this with no motion, nothing happening here, stationary, we'll make one change. We'll start this timer. So this will move and a sequence of events will take place. Notice the height that that bounced. I hope people will get what I'm, I'm trying to show here, which can be practically demonstrated. start the sequence of events and also highlight this background so if we let it play out and again one more time Again, so I'm doing this with no edits. I've now delete that guy to show that there's nothing moving this guy except the reference frame. There's no weight. None of this does. Delete that one. We'll copy that. Again, this uh, we could even copy it with him. None of this moves.
What? Only this. So, uh, I hope you get. But this is showing without the uh, motion here. So, start listening to motion. Right.